In this video I'm going to talk about sketching cubic equations. So to help me to do this I'm using this graph plotting software which is called Grapher. This is on the Mac. If you don't have a Mac you should be able to get some other graph plotting software for free from the internet or use a graphical calculator or use a web um, based uh, graphing piece of software. So let's create a new equation. So I'm going to create a cubic equation with three factors. I'm going to choose those factors to be x minus 2, x minus 1, and x plus 3. Now before I even uh, draw that graph, I can tell just by looking at the equation where it's going to cross the x-axis. This factor here tells me it's going to cross at x plus 2. This factor here tells me it's going to cross at x uh, plus 1. And this factor here tells me it's going to cross at x minus 3. That's because this is the line y equals 0. So for this to be this whole thing to be equal to 0, one of those factors must be equal to 0. So I can set each of them equal to 0 independently and then solve for x. So setting x plus 3 equals 0 gives me x equals minus 3, which is this point here. What else do I know about it? Well, if I take the factors and multiply them together, I get the constant value which is on the end of the, the multiplied out equation, which is the intercept, or the point that you get when you set x equal to 0. That's minus 2 times minus 1, which is plus 2 times plus 3, which is plus 6. So this curve should go through those three points we mentioned and uh, y equals 6, which is up here. So let's see if that's correct. Okay. Um, so that, that pretty much um, covers what you will see with most cubic equations. Um, but that's with, that's with three roots. What if we have fewer roots than three? Well, we could make two of those roots the same by, uh, by deleting one of them. Let's delete the x plus 3 root and, and squaring another one. So now this equation should have uh, a repeated root at x pl equals plus 1 and another root at x equals plus 2. So it should touch the x-axis here and it should go through the x-axis here. So let's see if that happens. Yeah. Okay. Let me take it back to the original equation like it was before. So we had x plus 3. Okay. How else could a cubic equation be different? Well, instead of starting over here in the negative direction, it could start, uh, uh, sorry, on the negative uh, side of the y-axis, it could start up here on the positive side of the y-axis. So how would we make it do that? Well, if we write one of the factors, doesn't matter which one, um, in reverse, then the graph flips over. Why is that? Well, that's because what we've done by, by writing this the other way is we've introduced an additional factor of minus 1. I could take out that factor of minus 1 and put it at the front. Hence, our graph would return to the original form. To get the new form, I would simply write the factors as they were and keep the minus sign at the front. So a minus sign has the effect of flipping the whole equation um, around, uh, reflecting the equation in the x-axis direction.